Jesus. Lord, we love your name. We praise your name. We exalt your name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you this night. We exalt the holy name. Hallelujah, <laughs> Ma 
Hallelujah. Shall we just take Psalm 136 just to thank the Lord for what He's doing, what He has done, and especially for what He's doing in Zimbabwe and also with the outreach groups in our local church here and our local churches. People are going out to preach the gospel. We're going to thank the Lord for uh, all those souls that are being reached. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, thank God for the Zimbabwe church. Amen. 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 God is Amen. good. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's just uh, give God thanks. Then we can allow our apostle said to just give us a few testimony. Hallelujah. Can you just give us some testimony before we thank the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, we thank God for all the prayers that that is done from Namibia and all over for us in Sim. Yeah, we start our first Sunday service on last Sunday. Mm. And really it was very successful. It was really good and there was two men Saturday we used to, we we went out for to do to evangelism we went out on the street and in the way we meet two brothers two men who are when we invite and so on and Sunday morning, by surprise, really, I when I look at this man, I remember about ah, these two. Why did I meet? But so we forgot. Yeah, but after preaching and the word of God, and I make out the call, so the people come out for the to receive Christ. So, and all of them come up, come forward, and they accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. And from Amen. then, the cross asks if there anyone who wants to testify. So one of them come and give his testimony, and they say they walk far from almost 35 kilos from Western Bridge and so on. And then I remember, yeah, this man. Yeah, I remember we met them yesterday, so they need to come. But in the story, he tell us they that one was a security guard. And his friend called, tell him then that, that they must come Sunday morning. So around 4 a.m., they walk 
far distance, almost 30 kilos, 35. Mm -hmm. And did they reach the town and when they come, they didn't know, they even didn't know where we are. And <laughs> they first go to the home and wait, wait for hours and they don't find us. And later on they say, ah, let's go. I don't know if someone direct them and they come to the church. Wow. And they told us how far they walk and so on. Now after the church, so we took them back home and from then and the cross, took them back because the distance where they are was very far. We feel really pity for them, but in the process they tell us uh, one of them who the I think who the white and white and red cup head. He's a, he's a leader of what of this white German church is a leader. And he has a lot of people that follows him and he even don't know how he managed that these people follow him, but he is like a gift of healing. But in the process, he also makes his own things, but <laughs> he to wonder how people get healed, but they follow him. <laughs> so it is a, ah, but now I really found through, I found Jesus, I found the church. So they promised, they said, ah, you people must come. Now I'll tell all my people to go follow you, the old church. I will <laughs> tell them what I've done all these years was just a lie. But now <laughs> I feel I have found Christ. the real Christ. So they say we can come there. He can even talk to his people and the whole crowd can follow him. Or we can even tell them and say, all of you from today, you are Christ Love Ministry members. <laughs> so, wow. A really um, powerful testimony. <laughs> I guess we can see the end of God really busy doing. And the next day, Monday morning, a lady come. I see even walk almost 12 kilos from her place. And she just hears from us. There are people in town who me. She comes and we ask her now how she come and what. There's a problem. We say, ah, struggling for job and nothing been going on for her and so and so. All right, and Sister Brenda tell her, tell her, no, we are not operating like witch doctors. We cannot give you just what you want, but we give you the word of God, silver and gold we don't have, but what we have will give you in the name of Jesus and we lead her to Christ and so on. But in the in the in the process, ah you can see the resistant the church, what sal the what do the people say? <laughs> Even the answers he call, I the the, the 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 way she act and we try to bring her back uh, uh, but there was something like resistance. Early down we decided uh, okay we also make for us tea and he said ah he doesn't give out tea and bread. Uh, after she eat tea and bread you can see the smile on the face. <laughs> Now she come back. <laughs> but then, end of the day, she accepted Christ. That one also decided, ah, I will call my husband and tell him I will found a church. So I will tell him every, and she promised us, ah, ah, from Sunday, I will come. I'm yours. I will join the church. <laughs> and the other testimony was, <laughs> ah, praise the Lord. Elder Cross told me <laughs> the owner of the place where we rent, he told him after uh, the, the, the one, the person who was renting the, the bar, yeah, the place itself, it was like a hotel and a bar. Mm -hmm. But now, because of no, I don't know what happened, most of the part of the buildings are not used. So only the bar was, only the two rooms, the bar 
M N M M M. The other one is a pecari. Yeah, a pecari. Those two places are overrated. But no, the ba was the one who was disturbing. So I remember there was a night we saw asked about uh, to, the Lord show you about the people drunkness and we pray over it and so on. Mm -hmm. And we also anoint the place the, 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 the day before. And then the owner decide, ah, maybe this person, he's, maybe he's the one who has witched me. So my business cannot move. And the <laughs> next room, the next place next to that bar, he says two men, he come and pay for the rent. They want to start business. But the people never come back, but they pay the rent. He says, ah, maybe this might close all the doors. So he said, ah, I will increase my rent so that this man will move. <laughs> Yes, not come back again. So really, maybe four or five guys, men sitting around, and he was angry. We <laughs> meet across, he was angry for them. Yeah, since you you people change our, it's because of you church. Your church is close our uh, our bar. Because of the church, the bar is close. <laughs> they were angry. <laughs> so, and the other issue about the chicken, <laughs> the guy, the owner also tell us that they ah, they, they are black chicken. Always used to walk around and then and then all across tell him, yeah, we are we are looking for those chickens. If you see any chicken, tell us wherever they are. We want to eat them, we want to slaughter and eat them. <laughs> and the thing maybe we make uh, is like a joke. So next day, when we come, he saw us. He said, come, come, come and see. He saw us the X, seven X. He said, you see, that black chicken. Here is the X. And the girl said, ah, ah, this one. It's our X. We'll start our project from <laughs> with the X. <laughs> wow. Really got this thing. <laughs> and, and he also told us the story. There is a mountain where the people go and sacrifice, where they bring eggs, I mean, chickens and pigs. And, and they say, in the bush, at certain mountain, if you come there, there are hey, lots of chickens and pigs and goats. So we say, ah, you must go and show us that mountain so that you can go and pick up all those things. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> Wow, those are powerful testimonies. We give God all the glory. Amen. For the adoration. Amen. Hallelujah. So the declaration about chicken actually came through. <laughs> yeah, the chicken is there, so yeah, we pick it up. We give you all. All the glory, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Are the Alpha and Omega? We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Give you all the, all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for that testimony. Those testimonies are really powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm really going to claim that while coming church. Amen. We're going to take every member there and turn them to the light in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's read uh, some.
from 136 to just thank God for his mercies over all these people, over all the new people that are being reached even by our outreach teams here and in all our churches. <clears throat> we want to ask the Lord to give them mercy, have mercy on them and establish them in his kingdom and in his house. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy, his mercy and glory forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods for his for mercy and glory forever. Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy and glory forever. Amen. Who alone doeth great wonders for his mercy and Him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy and Amen. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his, his mercy, mercy and glory forever. Uh, to him made great lights, that made great lights for his for mercy, his and, joy mercy for and glory forever. The, sun the moon has passed to rule by night for his for mercy, mercy and glory forever. forever. Amen. And brought, uh, sorry, where are we now? The moon to him that smote Egypt in their firstborn for oh, his mercy and glory forever. And brought out Israel from, from among them, them for his oh, mercy and glory forever. With a strong Amen. hand and with a stretch out arm. For his mercy and glory forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts. For his mercy and glory forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it. For his mercy and glory forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercy and direction to him which led his people through the wilderness for his mercy and direction to him which smote great kings for his mercy and direction and slew famous kings for his mercy and direction Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy and glory forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy and glory forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy and glory forever. Even an heritage unto Israel, his servant. For his, for his mercy, mercy and glory forever. forever. Who remembered us in our low estate? For his for mercy, his mercy and glory forever. forever. Who has redeemed us from our enemies? For his for mercy, his mercy and glory forever. forever. Uh, who giveth food to all flesh? For his mercy and forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven. God of heaven for his mercy and for his mercy and glory forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to thank God for his mercies that endure it forever over all these testimonies and over the souls. Uh, and over, even over our own souls and our household and the entire church, let's thank him for his mercies. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 
Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. See that in this psalm God destroyed great kings, mighty kings who wanted to disturb the uh, movement of the children of Israel to the promised land. He destroyed them and took their land as heritage for the people. We're going to ask the same mercy of God to destroy everything that wants to oppose this new move of God in our ministries, in our lives, in our families. Like he destroyed all these great kings, famous kings, by, because he had mercy on his own people. And all the powers that want to disturb all the new converts there in Zimbabwe, uh, especially the, that the people may, you know, I may be scared of what the people will say. We're going to ask God by his mercy to destroy all opposition and all obstacles, human or demonic, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Make a 
Mercy and favor you show to your people in Psalm 136, Father. Show it to us in Christ, Lord, ministries, international. Show us in mercy and grace and favor in every branch. we are not consumed over your mercy to us. You consume our enemies. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to look at Proverbs 6. <laughs> Verse two, six, verse two. 
six two. <clears throat> together if you have trapped yourself by your agreement I think we can just uh, read it in NLT but it says here if you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said hallelujah if, you are, if you, are tra you are trapped by yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said. Hallelujah. Let's take verse Amen. one. It says, my child, if you have put off security for a friend's debt or agree to guarantee the debt of a stranger, if you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. says, follow my advice, verse 3, and save yourself, for you have placed yourself at your friend's mercy. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> so these people have placed themselves at your mercy by saying they will come back. The one that ate bread and drank tea, she is trapped by what she said. Even if she was lying, she must come back. Hallelujah. And those, Amen. the one that said he wants to give the whole congregation, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's take this scripture and begin to claim those souls that are promised. Even the ones that didn't come last Sunday, as long as they are promised, they must come because they have opened their mouth to say they want to be part of the church. Hallelujah. Everyone that made the promise there, let the Spirit of God trap them and bring them in. In Jesus' name, shall we pray? Ari <laughs> Ma 
Just pray in the spirit, and then from there we'll just change to Isaiah 64. We, uh, I, I'm not going to stop us until the Holy Spirit uh, stops us for those two scriptures. We want the Lord to fulfill His word in the mm-hmm. name of Jesus. We pray back the word to Him, and uh, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard. We must begin to happen in that Zimbabwe in the mighty name of Jesus. Great and mighty things. Let the Holy Spirit research out what God has in mind when He gave that scripture concerning the mission to that place in the name of Jesus. But let's start first with the Lord's Prayer and then we we'll go over to Isaiah 64. Ripple Like all the needs of the summer. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to take Isaiah 64 and 
pray verse by verse, but the, especially the first four verses, we want God to come down by fire. Amen. Amen. Establish that touch by fire. Mm -hmm. And then, just like I Amen. said, we will just be praying in the spirit concerning that Isaiah 64. We want it fulfilled. We want to see what eyes have not seen before, what ears have not heard of. That's not yet entered in the heart of man. That is in the heart of God. We want to fish it out by the help of the Holy Spirit. Mare <laughs> Sitter, <laughs> Mari <laughs> <laughs> 
I want us to take Psalm 17 for protection because of if you're going to take over a whole congregation of white garment church, we need to know that there's a spirit that was deceiving them before the principality. We need to deal with that spirit. And also uh, those who are complaining, those ones who are having a bad day, now they cannot uh, open their shop. We need to pray, hallelujah. And if that Same. black chicken is anything that, uh, that has come to disturb that environment, we also need to rain the fire of God on it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 17. Mm -hmm. Psalm 17. <clears throat> Let's read it in NLT. Uh, read it as we pray. First of all, we'll be kind enough to keep scrolling it as we pray. Amen. Rebacco, <laughs> <laughs> 
Psalm 35. Let's read it and pray. These are all arrows of war. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Serious bullets.
Today, uh, I'm going to be teaching on a very, very sensitive subject. We're going to be touching on consecration and sanctification and all that. But that's the next level that the Lord is taking the church to. Hallelujah. That is our next level. And um, <clears throat> it's a very sensitive topic because that is something that people don't like to do. People like prosperity and every other thing, they like miracles and every other thing you want to preach or wants to touch <laughs> the subject of holiness and the, you know being consecrated to God. It is an issue, but we are going to touch it and we are going to preach it because it has nothing to do with what they want. It's about what God wants and what we do. They are so good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen about Amen. what God wants for the ministries and for the body of Christ at this time to rededicate ourselves and consecrate them, but the people don't understand it and it has to be taught. Hallelujah. So Amen. I want us to pray that as the word is will be, will be read and taught throughout these three days and after these three days, let the Lord himself open the understanding of the people and of the ministers so that all of us can be on the same page. I want us to read Nehemiah chapter 8. <clears throat> Nehemiah 8, from verse 1. I want us to read it before we start to pray. From verse 1 up to uh, to 10. Up to nine. Amen. Up to ten. Whichever one. Yes, up to ten. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You can read it up to verse 12. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All the people, people assembled with assembled a, with a unified a, purpose a, at the square just inside the water gate. They asked ask the scribe the scribe to bring out, out the book of the, the law of Moses, Moses, which the Lord had the given Lord for Israel to obey. So on October 8th, 
as priests brought the book of the law before the assembly, which included the men and women, all the children, old enough to understand. He faced a square just inside the water gate from early morning until noon and read aloud to everyone who could understand. All the people listened closely to the book of the law. As the scribe stood on a high wooden platform that had been made for the occasion, to his rise, to his rise to Mattathiah, Shema, Ananiah, Uriah, Hilkiah, Isaiah, the scribe stood, Mediah, Mediah, Malchijah, Hashem, Hashem, Dana, Zachariah, and Mishnah. Ezra stood on the platform in full view of the people. the people. When they saw him open the book, they all rose to their feet. Then Ezra praised the Lord, 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 the L
conviction came because the number one, there was unity. Everybody believed that this people must be holy. And the people started to weep. You see, the interpreters could have spoken something as because Ezra did not hear what they were saying. Ezra was on a, uh, on a platform while they were among the people, I believe. Because maybe there was no, of course, there was no microphone. It must have been sitting there. Levites must have been sitting with the people in groups. But he made them to understand the word. The interpreters also did a good job. They did not say their own thing. Hallelujah. Until the people began to weep. They understood. Hallelujah. Amen. They wept and then, then they had to be comforted. That's another thing we need to pray about. That the word of God is not to make people to be sad. It's not to make people to rebel or get angry. This, this is God's word. Once it is understood and people are convicted, it is not the conviction should not be for rebellion or anger or to go home and begin to speak what they are not supposed to speak. But the conviction is to make them turn to God and rejoice. The latter part, as the, the Levites helped them to understand, they, was, they were, told, uh, were told that they went home, they started to rejoice now, they are no longer weeping because they had understood the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The word, when the word is, is spoken, it is meant to convict us. We will repent. If we need to cry, we will cry. But then once we have repented, there should be joy. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to invite the Holy Spirit according to John chapter 16 to come and do the work of conviction in this season that sanctification and consecration and the dedication will be taught in these ministries that the Lord himself will do the work of conviction in the hearts of the people. And it will not lead to any division or rebellion, but rather the people will embrace the word of truth and they will repent and they will be blessed. Shall we begin to pray? the <laughs> Thank you. 
Amen. <clears throat> Finally, concerning that subject, let's read uh, John 16 from verse 5. John chapter 16 from verse 5 to 14. John 16, Amen. 5 to 14. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> okay, let's read it. But now I'm going away to the one who sent me, and not one of you is asking where I'm going. From verse five. He said, you grieve because of what I've told you. But in fact, it is best for you that I go away because if I don't, the advocate will come. If I do go away, then I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world of its sin and of God's righteousness and of the coming judgment. The worst thing is that it refuses to believe in me. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Righteousness is available Amen. because Christ is in Righteousness is available because Amen. I go to the Father and him no more. Amen. Judgment Amen. will come because the ruler of this world has already been done. There is no, there's so much more I want to tell you, but you can't bear it now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. All that belongs to the Father is mine. This is why I said the spirit will tell you whatever he receives from me. We're going to invite the Holy Spirit into this issue. We're going to invite him specially to teach our people, not just in Vintook or all the branches of Christ of Ministries, wherever they be found. All the people that are part of Christ love, wherever they are on this planet, and let the Holy Spirit begin to teach them consecration and sanctification shall we begin to pray. Tutti <laughs> 
Especially now in Zimbabwe, the work must be purely evangelistic. You have to catch the fish before you clean it. If you start Amen. to clean the fish in the river, <laughs> the fish will disappear. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you must bait it, but you can't go inside the river with a knife and you want to cut the, uh, there will be a fight. The fish will just know that, no, you can't cut me. You need to bait the fish, put some Amen. nice, uh, nice worms in the river so the fish will swim, swim towards the bait and then it's caught. When the fish is caught, then you can bring out your knife and start to, to clean it, hallelujah. So we are going to add, but then we're going to still engage the Holy Spirit over there. Amen. Like even though the work now is purely evangelistic, let the Holy Spirit go in advance and teach them holiness and teach them. Like nobody taught us to go to fast when he encountered God, the Lord Jesus. <laughs> nobody taught him to consecrate himself. He immediately after the, that encounter began to preach the gospel. Amen. God, Amen. the Lord did a good job on him. Hallelujah. The Holy Amen. Spirit washed him, cleansed him. And then even the, the disciples themselves, the Holy Spirit was dealing with them. Uh, so we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help us, whether in the established churches or the new churches about to be established, to be the master teacher, the master sanctifier. Amen. In the name of Jesus, go to the people in their dreams, in their way of life, and tell them how to be close to God, how to be holy, how to be prayerful. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus, shall we pray? That's our last prayer point. <laughs> Thank you. 
just want to thank you for answered prayers. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We seal all our premises with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We seal our sleep and our dreams with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for all our brethren that uh, may be sick at this time, who will not touch them with your healing hand. Whether Amen. wherever they be found in all our churches and branches, Father, we bind the COVID spirits all over the head at this time and in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. May worship take us to take a moment to pray against COVID-19. Pray for the church. The 
we soak all the hospitals, all the houses in the precious blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy for the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Now, may the grace of our Lord the Lord of the Lord. Fellowship of Amen. It is well. Amen. Morning, everyone. God bless you. Thank 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 you. But I didn't. But I didn't. Maybe the Wi-Fi is off. I don't know. Okay. It is well. Amen. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.